Maggot, ask him a good uh, question. Who am I asking the question? The guy right there. Wrong question. You should run. Senior officer, Car Oh, what the hell? Yeah, what are you gonna do, Yates? Why are you barking like this? Oh, well, in my eyes. <laughs> you play the uh, in my eyes card. What are you gonna do, Yates? Huh? I I'm letting you. I'm letting you know, Corwin. It's it's completely blocking the entire lane of travel. What? No, that's not what I'm seeing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Yates? Oh, 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 sir. See, this guy's assaulting me. Officer, help. <laughs> Carlos, this is the scenario. Please, please hey, try to park better next time. You. Hey, F the police. Oh, my you God. Know, just no, just that's, what I, that's what I think about the police. To hell, to hell with all of y'all. Like to let him litter like that? Vote bones for sheriff. What? Bones for sheriff. What? To hell with y'all. F the police. <laughs> Well, I gotta get my drink. I'm thirsty. <laughs> it's not an emergency vehicle. What are you gonna do, Yates? The lights on. Carnwood, I'm real tempted to give you a traffic ticket. I'm not gonna lie. Why haven't you? Uh oh. Okay. All right. All right. Checks legislation. Oh. Uh Gates, what? just your car. <laughs> oh, he's taking off. Gates, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Coral Wood. Howdy, Carmine. I'm I'm here at the uh, I'm here at the penitentiary. All right, I let like <laughs> you in. You were in here yet, or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm right outside. All right, uh, you know where the DMZ is? Yeah, yeah. I see ya. All right, I'll let All you right. in. I'll introduce you to the population. Yeah, this absolutely. This is a conversation that should have happened weeks ago, dare I say. See you soon. Howdy, Carmine. Howdy, Cornwood. Hey. Tyler Peters is on duty. You know the guy? Yeah, Tyler Peters. I know him. Can you hire him when you went into the BCSO and then just fire him for me, please? Sure. You look good. All white suit you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, uh, welcome. When was the last time you got this far into the prison? Shit, the last time I got kidnapped or robbed or whatever. That was not a robbery, Cornwood. That was a detainment. This is saying cops rob people of their illegal goods. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's what they said anyway. I mean, I thought you were just following your SOPs. You're giving me that shit back eventually. Can I be honest? Yeah, go ahead. My SOPs are whatever I deem it at the time. Best SOPs, because usually they're favorable towards my condition. Yeah, I mean, hell, that sounds like my COPs. I just do whatever I got to do to get shit done, make sure I'm doing it the right way. Cornwood, you know, you're the first uh, sheriff candidate that's come in here. Well, you know what? That's because I, I think we should have a healthy relationship with the DLC, even though if most people don't agree with us. Can I let you in on a secret? What's that? It's in the works. Nothing is set in stone yet, but uh, I've spoken to my guards. Some of them are against it. Oh, you yeah, know, I'm as not a leader. surprised. Yep, as a leader, you have to, you have to, you know, take your employees' considerations into account. You gotta lead with example. I propose an idea of making this place no longer lawless. Really? Yeah. Dare I say? Make it like the real DLC. No, 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 no. That oh. shit is resident sleeper. God forbid. Yeah, okay. Make it like middle ground. Some accountability, but not complete accountability. After all, this place, believe it or not, does need a degree of government backing. Yeah, that you is true. You were at the true. council meeting, right, the other day? Um, yeah, I was. I heard the uh, crane had some choice words for my guards. He said, and I quote, who asked and who has? Yeah, uh, he did say that pretty much. Well, to be fair, they came in kind of at the wrong time and they were kind of, uh, they were a little bit aggressive in the way they proposed it. They didn't really approach it proper. You know what I mean? You know, Chief Justice Crane is a little bit like me. He's a little bit more traditional type of fella. We cut from the same cloth. You know, we're both Texas men and we like people acting a certain type of way. You know, respecting their elders and whatnot. I understand that, but sometimes... Especially when you have a degree of power, you can't let your sensibilities and uh, private feelings towards individuals get in the way. They came up there with concerns, legitimate concerns. Cranes told them to go fuck themselves. Oh, yeah, talk to him. the inmate popular. Bring that one over here. Hey, get over here. Me? Yeah, stand by the fence. Motherfucker, I said stand by the fence. Other side. Other side. Yeah. Corn, you can see him. You see him? You see yeah, him? I see him. You know, this state needs a strong iron fist. I'm oh. going to change the topic because, you know, situation just arrived. You know what the LSPD yeah, lacks? 
What's that? The LSPD lacks one thing, <laughs> exactly. and that is gusto, yeah. personality, and the will to do what needs to be done. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, they're a bunch of lily liver jelly spine bitches, to be honest. Yeah, basically. And, and we in Dogtown suffer from it, because we don't get too many inmates. But that's been solved with a you, lifers. Shut the, the fuck up! up! Oh. As I was saying, when you lead the BCSO, when you win, don't run him over, don't run him over, don't run him over. Jesus, we need him alive, don't run him over. <laughs> Sometimes my guards get ahead of themselves. No, hell, I, I don't blame them. They get, get shit done. The BCSO, you're going to take it in a direction that isn't the same as the LSPD. We need, we need something different. Don't right. copy a recipe that's, with all due respect, failing. Would you agree with that? I would absolutely agree. You got a gun? No, no not on me. This is important. This is on your uh, question. I wish I did. I, I, I showed up here and I said, shit, I forgot to bring my own leadership. firearm. What's your name, maggot? Name's Miro. What's your last name, maggot? Katashi. What you do to end up in here, maggot? I robbed some shit. Who caught you, maggot? I wish I could tell you. It was it was a cop with dreads? Cop with you. You know, without saying a word. Shiesty, Denzel. No, 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 no. It's not him. You know, a cop with dreads. Hmm. Yeah, we got a few of them. He's Tyler the Peters. Guy. Tyler Peters. He, he he got a Texan accent. A little twang. A little bit. Yeah, Tyler. You should pick Tyler up. I fucking hate the guy. But if you can arrest this guy, that's good. Well, hurry up. Get your question out the corner because I'm gonna start shooting. Yeah, you heard what I said. Hurry up. Better be a good one. Uh, it, it, it was it wasn't my question. You you said you said what do you need for for all the things you just listed? And I said you need good leadership. Motherfucker, was I asking you? No 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 no. You were asking them. You better ask said, a question or I'm gonna tell Clayton to do it to you now. Whatever. Moreau or what? Maggot, ask him a good uh, question. Who am I asking the question? The guy right there. Wrong question. You should run. Clayton, you were supposed to let him get a little jogging. Yeah, he got point <laughs> two seconds ahead start. <laughs> The horn Get him went to the off. infirmary. The horn went off. He didn't run in time. Oh, God damn it. I just went up the horn went off. Jesus. Jesus. God, that's his penis. Don't touch the man's dick. Get him to the infirmary, people. <laughs> Let's continue this door, Cornwood. Sorry, sir. It's been it's been like a week since mm. I shot it's somebody. Okay. No, I hell, I apologize, Fudd. You get itchy trigger finger sometimes. I don't blame you. Cornwood, you know, Bones proposed to me that uh, he was going to hold the meetings uh, for the BCSO, and he was going to let us sit in on it. Um. <laughs> Should we be against something like that? Richard. He's fine. Oh, okay. He's, he's good. He's, he's agile. Oh, All okay, our guards good. are agile. Oh, okay, good. Oh, I was asking. BCSO meetings. You plan on doing that separate from the LSPD? No. I want to I wanna be in charge of all the meetings. What happens to Beric? Well, I mean, he'll be with me. We're going to work hand in hand. Oh, oh, my sweet summer child. Share power equally? Well, let me. I'm very convincing. You say that. So mm. was I. I went into this gig with my best friend, Bobby Charles. We usually, we agree on 99.99% of things. Uh -huh. You know all it takes for everything to fall apart? 0.01%. Just one little dispute and everything falls apart. Two civil wars and three strikes until Bobby finally stepped down. I'm gonna give you advice here. That type of banking structure never works. Oh, and plus Kyle was, Kyle Prater was stirring a lot. Mm. My advice to you is to either have it completely separate from the LSPD, different chain of command, or to usurp power, be the one true ruler. It'll never work if you're both bosses. What happens when your team bickers with the other team? What happens if the LSPD maliciously goes after your deputies and you have to get in between that? And then Barrack's like, no, can't do that. Now you and Barrack are fighting. It's World War III, it's over. And then Kyle Pred swoops in and takes everything. That fucker. I'm sorry, Kyle Pred ain't got nothing to do with this, but I have Kyle Pred PTSD. Oh, okay. Well, shit, listen to me. It's going to be two chains of command. Now, command is command, okay? And we're not going to disrespect the other chain if they see something that's bad. But at the same time, I feel like myself and Barrick see things very similarly. He was my initial choice for undersheriff. My You're gutting the LSPD? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. What the fuck? You're a monster. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to take Barrick as my undersheriff. I leave them with the scraps? Is there even a... Who would take over if you joined Barrick? Did he... Has he... Have you Wait, brought this up Ruby. with him? It would have been Ruby. Oh, I think, I mean, this was months ago. I wanted him as my undersheriff. I advise you against that. That's not, it's going to be terrible. It would Roll be. back, you'll get from there. We'll it would, you. I know, but it would have been amazing. It would have. It would Look, have thing, been things amazing. in the year 2024.0 are not, are not like they used to be. <laughs>
I agree with you on that. Yeah. You know, things like... Uh, you see something? Interesting interesting developments are uh, not really as uh, <clears throat> looked highly upon for whatever reason. <laughs> you know, there are days where I wake up and I have to pinch myself and ask myself if this is real, if the council actually gave me this. Because I feel like Dogtown's a huge outlier. Oh, absolutely. You know what? I'm going to be honest with this you. This place makes no sense compared to everything else. It doesn't fit in the puzzle, but it just it works somehow. Uh, I'll be completely honest with you, Carmine. When I first heard about Dogtown, I was always a big supporter of it because, to me, in a lot of ways, a lot of people see Dogtown as a lawless, disgusting area. But in my eyes, this was one of our last bastions of hope. America. Uh-huh. Freedom completely. This is what our forefathers fought for right here. Absolutely it was. Where a man can take everything, even another guy's life. Mm -hmm. you, you see that guy running there? His name was Blorga. Yeah. I shot a canister. And it ripped his hand off. <laughs> Third degree burns all over his body. Oh, shit. Not a single cop here to arrest me for what I did. Oh, is that someone screaming? Uh, it usually happens. Usually happens. Man, nah, whatever. But, but one thing is, is when you don't have accountability, things ain't fun no more. Yep, that is true. Anyway, Cornwetter, are you going to remain in the council once you become the sheriff? That's my plan. I'm going to fight tooth and nail to stay in the council. If they try and get rid of me, I, I ain't seen it written anywhere that high command can't be a part of the council. The reason I ask you that uh, is because uh, if you remain in the council and you are the sheriff, you'll be a very powerful man. I can't offer you much, but if you look out for me in Dogtown, I'll be nicer. I'll actually make an effort to work with you. Yeah, I would love something that. I, something I haven't given to the LSPD yet. Uh. Yeah, I would love that. I mean, we're just up the road. We don't have to necessarily work together, but we have to work alongside each other, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You need renovations? I got free, cheap labor. I'm glad you paid us a visit, Cornwood. <clears throat> yeah. If the BCSO does fall into your hands, I hope you'll steer it in the right direction. This city needs change. It does. I was there when you proposed the idea, and the argument was that they didn't want to see the police split up because the police will be ruined. Mm -hmm. Well, I say it's already ruined, so you might as well change something. I think Bones, he's getting there, but he still has a ways to go. Bones, uh, he's from the SDSO. Uh -huh. He's probably going to do everything he can to join the BCSO, so... It, you win. You gonna let him in? You can give him rank and stature? I ain't decided yet. Probably not. I get in this. Has he gotten that bad at politics? I mean, clearly he don't believe in the vision if he was willing to run against me. 